What is up, you guys? It is me again, as you can clearly see. So, more of the Bible promise book. So, I've read Belief and Eternal Life, Faith and God's Faithfulness. So, let's see what other ones to read in this video right here. Forgiveness. 46. Forgiveness. But I would tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lead to them, or lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will become sons of the Most High, because he is kind. And by the way, when it says sons, it means sons and daughters, children in this sense, not just sons, but children. That's men and women. Because he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Yes, God loves the wicked. He is angry at the wicked, but he loves the wicked. And he still gives mercy and grace to the wicked. Because he loves them and he's merciful. Only when he, they're in hell does all of, uh, does that does God's mercy and grace for them expire. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Do not say, I'll pay you back for this wrong. Wait for the Lord and he will deliver you. All right, one more. Let's see here. Ooh. Holy Spirit, 62. Holy Spirit, I would have poured out my heart to you and made my thoughts known to you. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water will flow from within him. By this he meant the Spirit whom those who believed in him were later to receive. Up to that time, the Spirit had not been given since Jesus had not yet been glorified. But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth, and he will speak. Uh, he will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. As for me, this is my covenant with them says the Lord, my spirit, who is on you and my words that I have put in your mouth will not depart from your mouth or from the mouths of the, your children or from the mouths of their descendants from this time on and forever, says the Lord. If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? But whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst Indeed, the water I give them will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. 
He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. As for you, the anointing you received from him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as that anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, remain in him. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. In the same way, the Spirit helps you helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express and he who searches our hearts knows the mid or the mind of the spirit because the spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will we have not received the spirit of the world but the spirit is spirit is uh, the spirit who is from God that we may understand what God has freely given to us for you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, but you received the spirit of the sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. So, you guys, that is that. I hope you guys enjoy.